The story behind Killers is a, it's how can you call it? It's an oxymoron to, to do with love, but it's, it, it becomes hate. They love, they love each other too much. They just can't stay together. They have to break away. That's normally how the love ends, you know? It's like north and south of a magnet and they get, can't come together, but when you turn it and it gets together and it's love, but when you get problems or whatever and you know, how you say, uh, egos and stuff, the love breaks away, huh? And that was the, what we kind of came up with with the, uh, with the story in Killers. The new album, yeah. Good point. We uh, started work in summer last year with David, Gary Jones, Johan Danson, good friends of David and worked many years together and uh, helped create the album. Uh, we were finished by, uh, I think, yeah, before Christmas in November, we had all, all the tracks, you know, all the songs, because they're all new songs. And uh, we planned to release, we wanted to release early, but because of the pandemic and stuff, coronavirus, uh, so now it's, uh, how you say, uh, it's been delayed and hopefully when everything's finished now with the video for Killers and stuff, uh, we're thinking maybe with August, we're gonna the release date to uh, release. Bright Fields is uh, to do with my Irish heritage. It's, a, it's like an Irish ballad. And we sing a song about the, uh, the plight of the Irish back in 1845, 1847. Uh, was the Irish potato famine. And so this is a song uh, about our old ballad we are. Because I'm, I have a Irish ancestorship, yeah, of course, with a name like McInerney, yeah, so. But I hope, uh, I hope uh, everybody's gonna like this track too, of course. It's, it's different than the other tracks, you know? More uh, traditional, let's say, yeah, of course. That's a hard question because you can't answer that in 30 seconds. But you know, I had an automobile accident in Siberia on the way driving to another concert and uh, ended up with a broken back and a broken leg and a broken hip. And of course I was in hospital and uh, I think it was four or five days I was in a coma or something with the drugs and stuff they gave me for the operation. And of course, it set, this happened three years ago and it set back and it took me another year you know, to walk again. Now you, you, wouldn't, you see me, you wouldn't think I, you know, I have eight screws in my back or, and in my, in my knee and in my leg and in my hip. And, uh, but what can I say, yeah, now everything's still working, so uh, we just gotta carry on, right? Well, good question, huh? Um, well, what can I say? I'm happy it's, over 30 years, 35, nearly 35 years, uh, you know, making music and uh, the people uh, still know the songs of uh, Bad Boys Blue and uh, what can I say? Yeah, thank you. Thanks a lot for being a fan. I know David a long time when I first started with Bad Boys Blue and David was also in another group and uh, we're good friends for many years and now we've created a second album together which I'm very, very happy about. David is too. We knew we, knew we were gonna make another album together. It was just, you know, the, the right time to do it and stuff. And uh, like I say, last year when we started on the new album and when David contacted me to say, come on. I said, yeah, let's do, let's do something. And uh, give it another month or a bit longer and then you're gonna hear it too. So we hope you're gonna, everybody, all the fans, Bad Boys Blue, everybody out gonna enjoy the new songs and they finally get released. Yes! 30 years it took us to win this English league again. Thank you, Mr. Jürgen Klopp. Thank you. Every Liverpool fan in the world is... We do anything for you. I think Mr. Klopp knows this anyway. Uh, David, my producer, he's a big Cologne fan too, and I'm a, I'm a Cologne fan and a Liverpool fan, and we've got Jurgen Klopp, and man, and we're going to release a new album, and well, fuck it, it's all great, innit?